Uh, well, my name is Ashish Rai. Uh, I am a creative designer at uh, Cats Themes. Uh, and the topic of my presentation is a vertical rhythm and its efficiency in WordPress themes layout and how it may help to create a better typography in our WordPress themes and websites. So uh, at this day and age, uh, internet has become a, an integral part of our daily life. Uh, we are connected to internet by various means, like to find some information or uh, listen to music, uh, watch movies and videos, uh, play online games and various others. And uh, that's where the website comes along and simplifies our journey during our web surfing. And uh, WordPress has been bridging the gap between uh, the website and its users since the past 19 years by providing uh, themes and plugins for free of cost as well as some paid versions. And uh, not to forget a very popular content management system also known as uh, CMS in short form. Uh, so a very basic website uh, consists of images and text, right? Uh, well, I'm not talking about the dynamic aspects or its uh, functionality, but just the basic form, it's like, you know, full of images and text. And uh, if we exclude its images, then we are just uh, left with uh, text, right? So uh, my presentation will cover how to make uh, those uh, basic things uh, look appealing, uh, visually appealing in multiple cross devices like computers, uh, mobile phones, tablets, and various others. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Uh, I'll be covering what is a vertical rhythm and what defines a good vertical rhythm. And uh, then I'll also be sharing some idea out of which, uh, you know, uh, where I'll talk about body text, paragraphs and headings. And I'll also be uh, sharing some uh, tools out of which we can create our vertical rhythm. And then I will come to a conclusion. Okay, so uh, what comes to our mind when we think about the DOM rhythm? Anyone? Music? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, even if we search, if we Google the term rhythm, uh, it says a strong, uh, regular, repeated uh, pattern of movement or sound. Okay. Uh, uh, when, like you know, when we are listening to music, uh, a good uh, rhythm sounds tight and professional, right? While uh, the bad rhythms, like you know, uh, it might things might look awkward, which is why, like, you know, I don't really play drums, okay, as you know, it might sound very much terrifying, so I don't really, I'm not into that part. Uh, uh, just like any rules, okay, uh, rhythm does not have to be very much rigid, and uh, just like any rules, it can be bend and broken, okay, so uh, we can dive into music theory later, but for now, uh, we, let's focus on typography. So a uh, vertical rhythm simply means like, you know, when our body text is evenly aligned with our horizontal, uh, horizontal uh, spaces of our layout, okay? For example, you can see here, uh, this is 2022 theme by WordPress, and you can see how evenly there is a space uh, in between the horizontal lines, right? And uh, uh, for this next example, uh, this is Catch FSC. I have designed for Catch themes, and you can even see here, how evenly there is a there, how how the spaces are even in, in between the horizontal lines, and even uh, Justin Tadlock from WP Traven have coded uh, like you know typography, have made a you know better reading experience. Okay. So uh, vertical rhythm simply means, like I said, like you know when our body text is evenly aligned with our horizontal spaces of our layout. Uh, for example, uh, you can see here on the left. On the left, on, on our right side, uh, it's bad vertical rhythm. And on the left side, you can see it's a good vertical rhythm, okay? Uh, if we just uh, set our base font size and nothing else, like, you know, things uh, might look pretty okay, but by the time it reached the fourth line, it's already in between the line, right? So, uh, which gives us a bad example of, uh, which gives us an example of a bad vertical rhythm. But at the same time, if you look at our left side, uh, you can see, how, uh, how the spaces are evenly distributed among the lines. And you can even imagine like, you know, during your school and college days, like, you know, how we used to write in copy, right? Like, you know, there used to be lines and how, like, you know, the spaces used to be distributed evenly 
making it more cohesive and easier to read. So that's what we will be achieving today out of this presentation. So how do we establish a good rhythm? Uh, first thing first, uh, we need a proper font size and its line height along with its margin and padding. Okay, uh, we need to calculate these three things and put it in our cascading style sheet, also known as a CSS in short form. Uh, we have to calculate these three things, okay? So first thing first, uh, what we need is our base font size. And for this example, I have chosen uh, 20 pixels and a baseline height of 1.5 VM is usually right on target. And like, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, according to my experience, okay? So what we need to do is, uh, in our CSS file, uh, we, we have to say, set our body font size to 20 pixels and a line height of 1.5 VM and a, uh, like, you know, and a margin bottom of 1.5 VM in our P tag. Uh, in a body tag, we, we, have, we have to set our margins to zero, okay? Out of which uh, we get something like this, like, you know, uh, in our design, we'll get something like this in our design. Uh, okay, so uh, we have, uh, this is our base, like, you know, since we have set our base font size, uh, we will calculate our rhythm out of this, okay? So what about headings? As, like, you know, headings are usually uh, much larger than our body text, right? So, like, you know, if, if, left, uh, if we don't focus on headings, like, you know, our rhythm will be completely out of track, okay? So we, we do have to include headings as well. So how do we do that? Like, you know, how do we calculate headings? Uh, that's where our good friend uh, Modular Scale will come in hand, okay? Like, you know, this is a very good website. I, I really used to play around with this website a lot during my early days. Like, you know, uh, you, you can also check it out yourself. Uh, well, there are other websites as well. Like, you know, there are many others you can uh, Google yourself. But for this example, I have chosen a Modular Scale, okay? And I have also chosen a perfect fourth ratio out of which uh, uh, from our baseline height, uh, base font size, I got the heading size of uh, 2.369 em. Okay, uh, we do we do not have to uh, remove all the decimals because, like you know, computers are very much happy while working with uh, decimals. Okay, so our baseline height was 1.5 em, right? But if we use that in our headings, like you know, it, it gets it might be much larger, right? As like you know, heading itself is. Uh, much bigger. So if we use our baseline height, which was 1.5, then like you know, things might not look even. Okay. So what we have, what we need to do here is, uh, we have to divide our baseline height, which was 1.5, by our uh, head generated heading size, which is uh, 2.369 em, out of which we get a line height of 0.633 em, and also we need to set a margin bottom of 0.66. 3 em in our CSS file, uh, for example, you can see here, okay? So, uh, like, you know, basically what it does is, like, you know, it brings everything back to the rhythm, and, uh, like, you know, this is, this, will, this is what we will get out of it, okay? So, uh, like, you know, uh, a little bit of math and tiny bit of effort, like, you know, it can, our, like, you know, our design, it can really have a huge impact in our design. So coming to our conclusion, uh, like, you know, what we'll have, what we'll get out of this is like, you know, we will have a better typographic experience and like, you know, uh, it will also increase our readability and visual, our overall design will look like, you know, uh, very much consistent and aesthetically also like, you know, it will be very much pleasing and overall like, you know, uh, our design will be very well balanced and like, you know, so that's what uh, this vertical rhythm is all about. Uh, uh, well, uh, my name is Ashish Ray, and uh, like you know, if you have, uh, you can visit my website, and uh, like you know, I I usually write about uh, designs, and you know, I, I I usually post about designs and all, and like you know, we can, uh, I know like you know things there are like you know, uh, a WordPress is going towards uh, CSS clamps as well. I do write about those as well, but for this presentation, I have only covered uh, very basics. Okay, so. If you want to reach out to me and then like, you know, you can simply uh, visit my website. There is uh, my social medias and everything there. Okay. So, uh, okay, that's it. So thank you.
Okay, any questions or like you can uh, simply, uh, you know, meet me in person and if there is any questions. Okay, all right, thank you.